everyone's stories matter. It's just how much attention we give them and how much love we give them. My name is Pusle Kumoya Mengaba. I am an actor, writer, and a theater activist. And I like to do a lot of other stuff too. I have only ever wanted to be a storyteller. Ever, ever, ever. If people came to visit my mom and they wanted to ask for tea, my trade-off would be, I'll make you the tea, but you're gonna watch me perform. And you're gonna pay me. One of my greatest influences is Ruth Suhumutsi Mompati, my great aunt. She was the first female soldier for Mkonto Esizwe, which was the military faction of ANC. She was really just an incredible, pretty, determined, non-apologetic kind of woman. When I was growing up, you know, I loved Cinderella, I loved Sleeping Beauty, sure, but none of them looked like me. So, The Girl Without a Sound is a book that I wrote inspired by my aunt. Little boys and girls of color can pick this up and actually see a real life, tangible human who kind of looks like them. One of the big things that I always say to the students that I work with, you know, is you can be Shakespeare too. You don't know, you really, really could be. I realized from a young age that as a woman of color, it was gonna be very, very difficult because often those roles don't exist. So I started to create my own. In order to make it sustainable, one has to acknowledge and recognize that business and creativity come hand in hand. You can't keep it just to yourself. You have to figure out a way to commercialize it enough to make sure that people want to keep coming to the theater, people want to keep coming to the cinema. Winning the Brett Golden Bursary to go to the Royal Shakespeare Company was a major highlight. To basically be on the same stages as Benedict Cumberbatch and Judy Dench and all these incredible actors who I really, really love. In seeing what it is that young people have to offer in South Africa right now, we're trying to create something incredible that we can share on a global stage, but that is still very much South African. I'm wildly excited for what's to come.